It's really great for me to look at the work in this fantastic space, one of the two galleries at the Williamson. 53 paintings hanging here. It's, it's great to see them together like this because it allows me to look at them individually but also to look at them collectively and see how they work with each other. Because the nature of the work is such that each time I begin a painting I always ask the question, how is this wanting to be painted? And I find that if I ask that question, more often than not it allows me to be open to the possibility of new things happening. If I don't ask that question, what happens is that I keep repeating myself. It's very easy to get caught up using the same marks, the same handwriting, the same way of repeating and doing things. But when I've asked that question, there's a greater chance of me finding something new out. And in a sense, that's the reason I paint, is, is to try to discover something new uh, each time I approach it. And that becomes more evident when I see them collectively like this because it shows me the difference in all of them. There are 53 paintings here. There are 53 skies, trees, mountains, water, cliffs. Lots of different landscape from different parts of the world. Scotland, Canada, Ireland, Lake District, North Wales. And although they're from different parts of the world, the strange thing is that they do sit very well together and each of their qualities is evident when I look at them like this. The grandness of the Canadian mountains as opposed to the slightly less grand Scottish ones, albeit I do have a, a, a great fondness of uh, the Scottish landscape and uh, having lived there for those two years and worked directly in it and experienced that weather, I, I think that it is true to say that there isn't really such a thing as a bad day in spite of the rain and the wind. Essentially, landscape is where I get my inspiration from. Uh, in the past, I've lived in the Highlands of Scotland for a couple of years and also in the west coast of Ireland for a couple of years. And when I was there, I always painted directly in the landscape, uh, plein air as such. Because the advantage of that, of course, is that when you're surrounded by the weather systems, you're in direct contact with the way that it feels. So. It's a very different process to a studio-based activity uh, and in places like Scotland more often than not you have a four or five different weather systems surrounding you so uh, you're getting a real sense of feeling of place which is what is very important when it comes to uh, putting that into the painting and uh, in those situations that, that's very much what I uh, try to achieve. This is not the same in studio-based activity. When I'm in the studio what I like about that is that it's not limited by time in that the painting takes as long as it takes. There's no pressure in that respect. And for me, it allows me to go deeper into the inquiry because I, I begin the process. I, 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 I have a, a fairly certain idea of what it is I'm wanting to deal with. And I will initially sketch it out with the paint and, and uh, continue. But through that process, which usually starts out with me being in control of the situation, what happens is that at some point I lose control. And at the point where I lose control and I feel like throwing the brushes in the air, I find that if I persevere and stick with it, that it's at that point that the painting starts to reveal new things to me. And in those moments, if I connect properly with it, the possibilities are opened up in ways that I couldn't have dreamed of otherwise. And, and that's the nature of painting. The true nature of painting, in a sense, is the connection of the artist and the, through the materials onto the in inanimate object, which in this case is, is a painting on a wall, trying to move around marks, which are essentially pigments, in my case oil pigments, that were in the ground at one stage and then became mixed with a binder and then applied onto this board or canvas in a series of abstract marks. That's really all that they are, but what's quite amazing for me is that as an artist I can 
put these abstract marks together in certain ways that create meaning and create feeling. And through this interaction with the painting, when it's working and I'm connecting with it, that process allows itself to be revealed. So in a sense, when I'm working at it closely like this, I, I, I'm semi-aware of what's happening, but at the same time, that's not fully apparent until I take a few steps away from the painting. And th that happens at a point where usually I have problems and there, there's nowhere else I can go with it. So I need to take a few steps back to actually see what the problems are. So that's why it's not only important to be involved in the process and the activity of it, but it's also very important to spend time looking at what you have. So it's at those times of contemplation that one is able to really decide which direction it's going in and how much more work is required, if indeed any. And also what I love about that process is that when I'm working closely, and it is a series of these abstractions in a sense, and the marks and the nature of the way that I'm making the marks in this gestural way allows me to, to ingest feeling into the, the work, which I wouldn't otherwise be able to do if I was too fussy with, with detail. And when I go away from it, those abstractions become more focused and in fact the further you remove yourself from it the more clear it becomes so in a sense there's a contradiction there which is that the further away you become the closer you get to it for me essentially painting is about feeling if we go back to Rembrandt and all the great artists, when I look at their work, they imbue and give a great sense of feeling. And I think the very fact that that's possible is quite incredible, that a human being, through a process, creative process of, of painting, can set down a series of marks that can have relevance and meaning to other human beings. They can connect with them at the best of times, and the connection is a connection which in a sense bypasses the mind and really reaches the heart. It's to do with the essence of feeling. I'm not requiring or requesting that that be a specific type of feeling. It's entirely up to the individual to get from them what they will. But I know from the response of people to these paintings that when they seem to succeed is when people are in a sense lost in the particular landscapes and feel that they could they could they could walk into them connections have been made and uh, also memories of past experiences have been recalled and, and and it's wonderful for me to be standing here looking around seeing the differences that each of the paintings have and i don't have any favorites for that reason because for me they are all all different parts of one statement in a sense, or sentences in one story. When I'm in the landscape, I do like dramatic landscapes. I love the highlands of Scotland, I love mountains, I love cliffs, I love the coast, I love, I love those places, I love the sea. When I was in Mayo, I lived right by the coast, a very dramatic coastline. My house was a little cottage right by a river that ran a few hundred yards down to these quite incredible cliffs. So there's the initial dramatic aspect that draws me to those landscapes, but at the same time, great landscapes can be in those less dramatic places as well. So in the forests and woods, it's then sometimes to do with qualities of light within landscape and in a sense the feeling and how landscape transposes you and transfixes you. I find that when I'm in a landscape, it makes me forget who I am. And it, it makes everything relevant in terms of me as a human being and my connection on this earth at this particular point in time to the space, the physical real space that I'm in. And this is enhanced by what one's surrounded by. 
I try to respond to that then when I'm making the paintings. I want the paintings to have a sense of realness, a response that's direct, even for those paintings that are in the studio. That, that, that inquiry has to be deeper. It has to, to, to then go much further into remembering those connections. Someone once asked me why there were no people in the landscapes and I, I didn't really, I hadn't thought about it to be quite honest up to that point. And then I realised that the reason that there aren't any people in the landscapes is because at this point anyway, it's still open to possibility, you know, that might happen. I, I'm, I can change things and, and ideas can change over time. But at this point, I realised that the reason is that as soon as I put people into a landscape, when someone looks at that landscape, painting. The narrative is different. They start asking questions about the people in the landscape. They start asking questions about where they're going down the pathway, what they're talking about. If it's someone by a river, have they caught any fish? You know, these other narratives come into it, which I'm not really concerned about because to me, those things get in the way of what I'm trying to do, which is give the onlooker, the viewer, that direct response to space to light to to the things that connect with them in a direct way i'd like to recall a story i once heard about the singer tony bennett who paints and he also is a great lover of rembrandt and he was talking about rembrandt and what appealed to to him as a as an artist and he said that when I look at a Rembrandt painting and I see those eyes looking out at me they're asking the question who am I and I have a choice at that point I can either walk away and ignore the question or I can stare back at those eyes and I can think about the answer and I can privately decide what that answer is because he's asking that question about one's position at this point in time in your life and is questioning whether what you are doing is what you should be doing so, so i thought that was a great a great little um, expression of, of an experience of, a, of one of the best painters if not the best painter that ever existed and uh, to me if I could do a similar thing it would be quite a wonderful um, thing to uh, achieve. I think that the connection through painting that you can give to other human beings is potentially a, a very great thing to, to, to be and a privilege to be able to do.